Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Eh, voy a empezar a conducir, así que voy a ir escuchando la clase nada más. That's okay, Mr. Cesar. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, first time, you know, we see you driving. <laughs> Le agarró la tarde. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. Be safe. All right. Okay. change this you know there's a lot of white uh, at my background i can see that now it's better all right now it's much better all right one second let me fix this Mr. Francisco, welcome, sir. Welcome aboard. Buenas noches a todos. Good evening. Hey, sir. Excelente todo, teacher. Yes, sir. Yeah, the only problem is that it's too hot, sir. It's it's very hot today, right? Very hard. Very hot. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about that, right? We're just waiting for the uh, summer to be over and the winter to start, right? Esperemos que venga el invierno, right? And to change the temperature a little bit. The government said that the, at the middle of May, we can wait for rainy, rainy day. Yes, correct. Yeah, correct. In the middle of, of May, we can expect the first uh, rains, right? to refresh a little bit the environment. Okay. All right, let's see. I was checking the platform just to see your progress. And I was able to see that most of you have already completed unit one and unit two, which is homework one and two, plus the midterm. Yes, and I, I think that uh, Ms. Portillo, Mr. Rodriguez, and Ms. Hernandez, you already completed the midterm, if I'm not mistaken, all right? So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna wait, let's see one more minute and see if more people join the class, all right? But in the meantime, let me go ahead and share the screen with you so we can start with the class right away. You know, to let's see respect, uh, let's see your punctuality. All right. Okay. So on Friday, we went over the pronunciation rules of the simple past ED endings. I explained to you the differences between the words that are pronounced like word with T at the end. I explained to you how to pronounce a verb such as cleaned and the other one like invite, invited. So something that we need to remember all the time is to make the past form of a regular verb in writing, you just add ed to the verb. But in speaking, when you say the verb, it depends, all right? So it may have three, 
possible pronunciations. All right. For example, watch becomes watched, stay becomes stayed, and visit becomes visited. And I uh, share with you, let's see the key rules for you to be able to identify when to pronounce each of these uh, the T words correctly, all right? Yeah, this is what we reviewed last time. Now, keep in mind uh, again that I'm talking about the pronunciation, not the spelling, okay? So that's what I'm talking about, all right? So in this class, we're going to review the AD pronunciation of uh, some verbs and we, we will practice speaking, grammar, listening, and writing a couple of sentences in past tense. So what I have ready for you is practice, you know, a lot of practice uh, for the simple pass. Okay, so that's what I have ready for you. Así que se trata de repasar el pasado en esta, en esta noche, all right? And we're gonna do that through practice. Okay, so we're gonna do that through practice. And, and as usual, let me share with you the uh, word or the phrase of this evening, okay? So the phrase that I have for you is give the devil his due, okay? The phrase for this evening is give the devil his due. And... Um, I have some examples in here, all right? I can't stand the new employee. He is so nosy and mean, all right? Yes, you're right, but I have to give the devil his due. He is a skilled worker. If you allow me, let me clarify with you what these phrases mean in there, all right? So give the devil his due means to give a person what he or she deserves, all right? Darle a quien su lugar, okay? O a cada persona su lugar. So that's the meaning of this uh, phrase in Spanish, all right? So that's what I'm talking about over there. And uh, something that I also need to clarify so you don't uh, get confused is the following. For example, you have mean. Mean means... Um, Significar, but in this in this case it means some someone with bad intentions. All right. Uh, if if I had to make a translation to all of let's see these examples in Spanish, it would be dar a, a, a cada persona su lugar. Eso, eso es lo que significa esta frase, verdad? Give the devil his due. Y luego si yo digo I can't stand the new employee. For example, if I tell you I can't stand. Uh, reggaeton music, right? Or I can't stand um, too much noise. Significa no puedo soportar. All right? I can't stand. Right? Esa frase significa no puedo soportar. Okay? And then she says, y ella dice, ¿verdad? Refiriéndose al nuevo empleado, right? Employee es empleado, right? Or worker. He is so nosy. Nosy comes from the expression of your nose, you know, that's your nose. And someone who likes to gossip, it's a nosy person, you know, a gossiper. Alguien chambroso, entrometido, meque, como usted le quiera poner. Okay? Nosy. And mean. Mean es malintencionado. Okay? Mean. A bad person. All right? And then the uh, friend replies, y luego ella le contesta. Yes, you're right, but I have to give the devil his due. Tienes razón, o, o, o tienes razón. Eh, tengo que, hay que darle a cada quien su lugar, ¿verdad? Entonces, he is a skilled worker, pero hace bien su trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, o es un trabajador bueno, all right? Can somebody tell me if you, if you have any idea, let's see, any uh, translation or any better translation to the phrase, give the, the devil his due. Si alguien me ayuda, tal vez, con, alguna tra con una mejor interpretación a esa frase, en Spanish, if you have it.
or no comments? Sure, I, I don't know. Maybe it can be when you said Al Cesar lo del Cesar. Al Cesar lo del Cesar. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a great one. Correct. Correct. Yes. You're right. Mr. Uh, Raul, any, any other idea? Thank you so much, Ms. Carmen. So give the devil his due. Um, or maybe that one, Al Cesar lo del Cesar. Podría ser también algo así como, uh -huh. a pesar de que es mezquino, pero que es un buen trabajador, es la mata donde se rasca el tigre. It could be that one too. It could be that one too. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes. So uh, both uh, interpretations are okay about this. All right. Al Cesar lo del Cesar, give the devil his due. Right? Right? Like when you say uh, there's another one that, that has the devil in there, right? And if you make the translation, darle al diablo. <laughs> Su lugar, ¿verdad? O su lugar respectivo. Así se traduce literal esto, ¿verdad? Ok. And using the same word, you know, devil, I have another expression for you. Speaking of the devil. Hablando del rey de Roma. Ok. Speaking of the devil. Right. That's another expression over there. And you're not asking me right now, let's say like where this phrase comes from. But I researched the, uh, this expression comes from a play written down by Shakespeare, right? O sea, sacaron esto de una frase de Shakespeare, esta frase, ¿verdad? Give the devil his due. Al César lo del César, right? O en la mata donde se rasca el tigre, dice Mr. Raúl. Okay. So, let's continue. Remember that this is just um, a different way to speak in English, which native speakers use all the time, all right? Let's continue because there's a lot of practice uh, for you in this class. So we're going to start with this exercise about pronunciation, all right? Pronouncing ED endings. Listen to the verbs and choose the correct pronunciation, but this is going to be, let's say, an individual task. I'll be sharing with you the access to this exercise. You're gonna be completing this, as I said, individually. Once you do it, all right, or once you finish, I will send you to a breaker room so you can check it out with your uh, friends, okay? And then we're going to see the answers as a group in class. Lo hacemos individual, les mando el acceso, lo completan, luego los mando en los breaker rooms. I will help you out, les ayudo, le echo la mano, clarifico dudas, y luego en clase vemos las respuestas over there. It's going to be a listening exercise right there, right? You play the verb, you listen to the uh, audio and then you cl just click. Y luego solamente le va a hacer click. All right? Allow me just one second. So welcome aboard everyone. Monday, uh, April the 26th. One more week and uh, it's made. All righty, okay. Hold on please. I'm copying uh, the information so I can send it to you right away. Estoy copiando la información que les voy a mandar en estos momentos. All right, so just one moment, please. All right, so I was checking the, the chat and uh, apparently uh, some, somebody was having issues accessing over here. I think it was me sold mine there. Let me send the access over there. Hold on. All right, so uh, could you open the information I, I shared with you right now? The one that says ejercicio de pronunciación, regular verbs, e the endings. And let me know if you're able to open it up and uh, if the uh, information is working for you. 
démosle clic, ¿verdad? En, en el material, en el enlace y me avisan, por favor, si pueden eh, accesar, por favor. Is it working, my friends? Yes? All right, thank you for confirming that. All right, here we go. Primero vamos a borrar, ¿verdad? La dirección web, ¿verdad? Por si acaso, just in case. And uh, there you go. Si hay algún anuncio, igual lo pueden quitar para que no les ofenda. And then you have the information. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Okay. But you're going to do it individually, right? I, I will not be playing anything. Let me just, maybe just play the first one for you. I'm sharing the screen right now, as you can see over there. Okay. So it says, pronouncing ed endings listen to the verbs and choose the correct pronunciation i'm going to click on the first one all right walked did you hear yes teacher all right thank you and then you click on the other one right visited there you go you can click as many times as you as you please visited all right missed yeah and i think the lady is very clear when she pronounces the ed the ed ending all right yeah, okay. So let me give you, let's say no more than five minutes, all right? At 8 20, I will send you to the breaker room, okay? I will remain silent so I don't distract you. Voy a, voy a permanecer en silencio para no distraerlos, all right? All right, so I've just studied the um, breaker rooms already. Did they initio ya a los a los grupos? Okay. We're just going to do exercise A right now, ¿ok? Vamos a encargarnos solamente del ejercicio A por el momento, ¿verdad? Solamente el cuadrito, right? Only the chart, all right? Please.
All right, so uh, could you join the rooms, everyone? Let's see, Mr. Francisco, Ms. Raul, Ms. Sulma, Ms. Susana, and Elizabeth. Please, thank you. Are you still working on okay, exercise? Hello, hello. <laughs> no, right now only A, exercise A, please. Okay. Only A, yes. Right. Thank you. <laughs> no, but that's okay. that's okay if you do it that's okay but we will go step by step i'm here paso a paso right okay okay yeah that's the idea hold on yeah that's what you're supposed to do correct okay vaya yeah. Compartimos pantalla o, o, o con la que... Ah, no, si usted está compartiendo. No, but share, share the screen, please, because I need to visit other rooms. Necesito ir a visitar otro, otros. <laughs> ok. All right. Okay. No, acá las la decimos, por ejemplo. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. So I guess you, you did already uh, A, right? This one, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you compare already your answers? Did you compare your answers already? No, with Susana, todavía no, no, todavía no. Okay. Está trabajando right. todavía. Yeah, right now just do uh, the chart. Solamente el cuadrito, la parte B la hacemos después, si gustan. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one with the advantage. Better. Okay. Bueno. pero aquí tenemos a, tenemos Hello. que tenemos que pulsar tenemos que pulsar el verbo si no me equivoco teacher yo acabo yes. de ir. tenemos Correct. que pulsar y según lo que escuchemos vamos a identificar si está con t con d o con y d sí. y vamos a darle clic a la respuesta en este caso si la primera no suena con t vamos a seleccionar eh, la letra t verdad correct correct yes Okay. Yes. Teacher, no pongo cámara ahorita porque estoy teniendo problemas. No sé. That's okay. That's okay. Me aparece, me aparece. Oh, ya no me parece. But I know it's you. I know Ahí it's sí, you. me aparece. Me parece yeah, sí la, la... Ah, anaranjado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know it's you. Ya le conozco la voz, no se preocupe. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Tony. Hi, Dad. Yes, it's very good. Perfect. <laughs> sorry, Evelyn, sorry. Continue. Yeah. Mr. Evo, sí, Mr. Pero, uh -huh. sí, es que arriba no suena al presionar o si sí tenía que sonar o no. No, tiene que sonar el del lado ese, el de los verbos. El lado Exacto. izquierdo. Ajá. Presione la, no. Presione la palabra. Y ahí lo voy a escuchar. 
Walked. Ah, what? Ajá, entonces, uh -huh. según ah. a su criterio, ¿usted cómo lo escucha? ¿Que lo, ¿Con lo pronuncia con la T, con la Ajá, D? Ajá, exactly. Con la I o la D. Ajá. Sí, claro, lo escucho con la D. ¿Con la D? Ajá. No sé, sí. ahí, ahí, es de hacerlo, ahí es de hacerlo así como calladitos. Y de ahí que. Por, no por eso. Sí, por eso lo, lo ideal era de que, digamos, lo, lo hacíamos por cinco minutos individual y usted, digamos, ya, ya lo seleccionaba o lo anotaba, ¿verdad? Y de, mm -hmm. ahí, ajá, y de ahí compartían, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, este. Traveled. Traveled. Es letter D. Yeah, es letter D, correct. Entonces usted lo selecciona, ya le aparece ahí, mire, en, en, en yellow. Como amarillo. Ajá, es la like yellow, como el color que tiene ahorita su pantalla, más o menos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. Ok. <laughs> no, yours is orange. This one is yellow. Ok. Vale, y como lo hacemos en dos tiempos, eh, esta parte la vamos a dejar para dentro de un ratito porque no quiero que les dé la respuesta todavía. All right. Terminado. Ok. Right? Because the idea is, number one, identify the sound. Number two, practice the sound in a sentence. All right? Okay, right. Like you go, for example, you, you click on that one, right? My parents asked me many questions about the exam. Aha, uh -huh. so is it asked or ask? Okay, so you know, you know it's this one, right? Because it's the past. This is easy, right? O sea, aquí el, el chiste en la B no es si es pasado o no, es el hecho de que usted modele la pronunciación que My dice aquí. Okay, that's the point. All right. So my parents asked me the many questions about the exam. Una cosa es decirlo yo solitos en another team is to put the word in a sentence, right? In context. Okay. Okay. It's yes, sir. It's, that's cool. All right, so I'll be back. All right, Hello, everyone. Please. Hello, sir. Oh. Yeah, Hello. I guess. Yeah, I guess you already finished everything. Am I correct or not? Yeah, you're correct. Yes, teacher. Okay, you're okay. Right. So you completed also part B or, or only A? Two parts. The two parts already. All right. So let's try to do let, let's see like a short demonstration on this one um if you don't mind mr eduardo you take one mr nelson two and <laughs> carmen number two please number teacher no me pregunte all right that's okay that's okay so in that case uh number one mr eduardo and miss <laughs> carmen oh, teacher, no. <laughs> all right <laughs> 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 Uh, number one, part B. Okay. My parents asked me many questions about the sun. Okay. Miss Miss Carmen, please. Number two, teacher explaining the homework. Correct. Yes. Now I don't know if you noticed already. I guess you already uh, noticed this, but when you pronounce the verbs in a sentence. You know, of course, next to another word and another sound, you don't really have to pronounce the ed, all right? Past. Or you pronounce it, but you, let's see, decrease the, uh, let's see, the sound. Like my parents asked me many questions about the exam. The teachers explained the homework. And uh, what's going to give you the context? If you see the word in writing, it's in past. If that person uh, mentions a time expression, that's also the context. So you don't really have to say, Mr. Nelson, no tiene que decir usted, my parents asked me many questions about the exam. No, that's not, that's not okay. We don't really say that, all right? But don't say, my parents ask it. No, 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 don't say that, all right? Never, okay, at least that's the idea. Uh, let me close the rooms right now because I really want to clarify a couple of things over here. But Mr. Eduardo and Ms. Carmen, you just did it perfectly. All right. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, as a class, we will check for A only. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is what's going to happen right now. I will play part eight verbs, okay? Like walk, visit, miss, stay, continue, look, record, it, and so on. And I'll choose a name out of the list I have in here, all right? And then you're going to tell me in real time the pronunciation that you actually understand or you guess. El voy a, voy, le voy a reproducir al verbo y elijo un nombre que me ayude de verdad a completar el ejercicio. All right? All right, teacher. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. So just muting your microphones. And here we go. Walked. One more time. Walked. And the last time. Walked. Okay. And Miss Sarai, right? Walk. Is. Is no. Pat. Excuse me. Is it T, D, or it? Like Pat, e. T. All right. I don't know if you already noticed, but uh, below the sound, you have a name, right? To represent the, the sound, like Pat, Bud, and Astrid. Right, just for you to actually uh, let's see get a, a hint. Thank you. Next one. Okay. Visited. 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 All right, uh, Mr. Edwin Sevillano, sir. Hello, teacher. Uh, ID. Yes, correct. Yeah, those are the easiest ones to recognize, right? Because you have the eat sound, right? Yeah, I, I see that. Thank you. All right, next one in there. Missed. 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 Okay. And uh, Mr. Francisco Rodriguez. Go ahead, sir. The first one, T. Yeah, missed. Correct. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. The next one. Stayed. 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 Mr. Raul, sir, help us. D. Yes, sir. This one is very close to T, the, but the T is stronger. Yeah, correct. It's the. All right. So thank you. Continued. Welcome. Continued. Continued. All right. Uh, Miss Carmen Hernandez. Continued. What is it, Miss Carmen? Sorry, teacher, I mute. Uh, B. Yeah, like Bob, right? Or David, correct. Thank you. Looked. 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 Okay, so Miss Sulma um, Gonzalez. Looked. B, teacher? Yes, like Pat. Pat, right? Thank you. Recorded. All right. Y todos diciendo, esa que me toque a mí, a la siguiente. Susana, Miss Susana Portillo, right? Recorded. Recorded. Recorded ID. Correct. Yeah, recorded. Like Astrid, right? Thank you. Next one. Ended. 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 Okay. Um... Let's see, Mr. Eduardo, help us, sir. I mean, that's a piece of cake over there. Uh, ID, ended. Y yes. Yes, it's ended. And then we have the other one, which is pretty similar. And uh, Mr. Nelson, would you help us, sir? Okay. Painted. 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 It's D. Correct. Painted, right? Or you can say painted. You can say painted. All right or painted okay thank you correct thank you okay stopped stopped stopped
All right, so Mr. Alfonso, help us, please. Um, is, no. is letter, letter T? Stopped. Right. Stopped, yes. All right, next one. The, let's see over here. Traveled. 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 All right, Miss Flor Sanchez. Um, is letter D? D, right, right. Yeah, correct. Last day, I was over here, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, can you do the other one then? Okay, listen, please. Copied. Copied. Flor? Copied. Um, is, is letter... Um... Copy. Is this también? Yeah, correct. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, everything is correct. So now, what I what I'm gonna ask you is to pronounce these words just with the correct uh, ed ending. So let's just start over here with your microphone off. So walked, visited, missed, stayed, continued, looked, recorded. Ended, painted, stopped, traveled, copied. Can you tr try to do that, please? And I'll be choosing, let's see, three uh, students over here. I will start with Miss Sonia Mabel Lasso. Could you help us with the pronunciation over there of all of these verbs? And let's try to do it quick, please, if you don't mind. I guess your mic is, is, is off. Right. All right, so Miss Miss Sonia, would you help us please with the pronunciation of the words? All right, so go ahead, please. Yeah, your microphone is, is off. All right. So if you're having issues, that's okay. I understand. So let me choose somebody else over here. Okay. Hola. Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Repeat, please. Yeah, could you please... Uh, pronounce the list of verse like walked, visited, missed, stayed, ah, okay, okay, and okay. so on. Okay. Walk, visited, missed, miss uh, stayed, continued, located, recorded, ending, painting, stopped, traveled, and copied. Thank you so much. So one more time, please. I mean, no, you. I'm just going to say that one more time. All right. Thank you. So walked, okay. visited, missed, stayed, continued, looked, recorded, ended, painted, stopped, traveled, copied. Right. Be careful with this one. Uh, so try not to say everyone look at. No, no, no. Just say look. Okay. If you don't want to make a mistake, say it in person. Digámoslo en presente si no estamos seguros. Okay. Okay, because that one you can actually hide uh, that you don't know it, ¿verdad? Usted puede más o menos disfrazar que no lo sabe. But visit, if you say it that way, then if we're talking about, let's say, I visited my parents yesterday or I visited my parents yesterday. If usted dice, I visited my parents yesterday. Okay, so you didn't pronounce the ID. Pero si yo digo, por ejemplo, um, eh, I can say, um, let's see. I walked, I walked to the park, right? Ni lo digo en pasado porque el to de, de, de ir, but I walked to the park, you know, it's the same sound as the walk to the park, right? Or walked over there. But if I say, um, I looked out of the window, I have to pronounce the word, right? Mire fuera de la ventana, right? Si yo lo digo, si digo, I look at out of the window, that's totally incorrect. Mejor dígalo en presente. Right? Don't say, I look at out of the window. Say, I looked out of the window. Okay? 
And right now I'm, I'm speaking to everyone. Nice. Uh, let me choose somebody else that we hear that would like to help us. Maybe Miss Evelyn Patricia, would you help us with the pronunciation of the words, please? Miss Evelyn. Yeah, your microphone is off, uh, Miss Evelyn. Would you uh, turn it on, please? Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Work, visitor, miss, miss, uh, stay, continue, locked, recorder, and paint, paint, stop, travel, copy. Okay, so thank you so much. Now, the ones that you should learn the pronunciation uh, for tonight are the following. Le voy a mencionar lo, lo que en realidad se tiene que, que se tiene que aprender, ¿verdad? Aunque sea, digamos esto, que no se nos va a olvidar. Los demás en el camino se los puede aprender. But at least the ones that end with ed, lo que terminan con it, the pronunciation model. Eso es, es necesario o imperativo que, man, que nosotros sepamos cómo pronunciar esos verbos. Visit it, record it, end it, paint it, and uh, let's see, yeah, only those ones in there. All right, one more time, please. Lo que terminan en ID hay que aprenderse, por favor. So visit it, record it, end it, paint it, and that's it. Porque si usted no lo pronuncia, se va, se va a ver en evidencia, pues, eh, entonces, que, que no maneja la pronunciación del pasado. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. yeah, I mean, that's the only suggestion I can give you, honestly speaking. So don't say I record, uh, the, the, let's see, the Beatles recorded uh, incredible audios. Um, si decimos así está bien, pero si dice the Beatles record incredible uh, albums, that's incorrect because I'm talking about the past. I, I should say I recorded a song, right? Or you, I can say the class ended uh, two minutes late, right? No tengo que decir la clase terminó, ¿verdad? The class end. No, 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 no. Si me estoy refiriendo al pasado, tengo que decir ended, right? Painted. Okay, recorded. Visited. Needed. Por lo menos eso aprendamos. Esos verbos aprendamos. Okay? At least the pronunciation over there. The other rules are going to be, let's see, learn on the way now let's listen to this one's over there right now let's try to just listen and pronounce them over there so i'll be choosing some volunteers as well vamos a elegir un par de voluntarios but no un par de victims i call them right victims so <laughs> my parents okay. asked me many questions about the exam now just keep in mind everyone that in this case of course the answer is obvious in writing verdad la respuesta es obvia en, 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 en la escritura, ¿verdad? O sea, lo que importa aquí es la pronunciación. Ok. So, it says, my parents. My parents asked me many questions about the exam. Solo vamos a hacer una muestra, ¿verdad? Porque necesito que ustedes vayan a practicar esto en los breaker rooms y después dar la retroalimentación de eso. So, I can give you the feedback later on. So, I'll be choosing um, the first one. Eh, three. You know, no, the third one. And the fifth one, all right? Those ones over there. So, and uh, let's see who I have in here. Um, Mr. Armando, would you like to help us, sir? Sorry, sir. All right. What My parents say? asked me many questions about the exam. Could you read that statement, sir? That sentence. Asked. Uh, but in this case, the, the whole sentence. Yes, so, yes, lot of yes. Right. Okay, my parents asked me many questions about the exam. All right, thank you so much, sir. Uh, number three, I will give you the feedback in a second over here, all right? Um, all right, Miss Susana uh, Hernandez. All right, you're going to help us in the next one. Number three. A lot of people call me for my birthday. All right, a lot of people. I 
I I don't think you're in class right now. Okay. Or let's see, Miss Susana Portillo, right? Tokaya, please. <laughs> All right. Eso es lo bueno tener más de una Susana, right? <laughs> right, doctor. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Okay. Comienzo yo, teacher. Yes. ¿Quién va a comenzar? Dice que no está eh, su tocaya, así que si gusta usted. Ah, bueno. Uh -huh. eh, la número uno, my parents asked me right. many questions about the exam. Okay, could you do number three, Miss Portillo? Thank you. A lot of people uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. me for my birthday, okay. I, I appreciate your help over there. Um, let's see, let me mute your microphones and just give you some um, tips, all right? Or some secrets about pronunciation over there. When you pronounce the verbs in isolation, significa in isolation por ellos mismos, por sí solos, si usted pronuncia los verbos por sí solos, you have to do the, uh, the emphasis, right? You have to emphasize this, like walked, visited, missed, stayed. Y usted siente, ¿verdad? El aire fluir, ¿verdad? Y la saliva. <laughs> so you feel that. Yeah, I'm sure of that. But when you put these words in a sentence, it's a totally different story, okay? Algo totalmente distinto. Because you're not going to say, my parents asked, me many questions about the exam. That's too much. Recuérdense que usted va a hacer los sonidos así propio de la T, de la T y de la D, de la D. Como si el ast, esta palabra y la siguiente no fuera el mi, sino que fuera una vocal. ¿Verdad? Ahí tiene que unir el sonido y si se da por naturaleza. All right? So just like that. Como que yo podía decir, mis papás preguntaron una pregunta. Si en, en lugar de me, many questions, podría ser aquí, my parents asked, y voy a poner una pregunta, one question. My parents asked one question. Right. Ahí sí tengo que pronunciarlo bien. Pero si después de, de estos verbos, ¿verdad? Que terminan en t y los de d como cold, sigue la siguiente palabra y el sonido es una consonante, Yo lo que voy a hacer es disminuir la fuerza de voz. Okay? Listen up, please. For example, my parents ask me many questions about the exam. O sea, usted siempre va a tratar de pronunciar el pasado, ¿verdad? Como t, d, pero le va a bajar. En el caso de number five, take a look at number five. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Por eso les decía yo, aprendámonos las que terminan con ed, right? Painted, ended, recorded, and visited. Porque... Esas siempre las tiene que pronunciar. O sea, regla que usted pronuncie bien el ID ahí. Lucy and Peter invented a new game. No, no va a decir Lucy and Peter invent a new game because that would be the present. All right? So, and then you have, like, for example, on number seven, my friends, si usted dice my friends to start a new hobby, usted me está diciendo que mis, mis amigos comienzan un nuevo Eh, pasatiempos, no me lo dijo en pasado entonces tiene que decir my friends started a new hobby alright, a new hobby entonces lo que le estoy diciendo es que no se esfuerce mucho con los otros verbos que no, no se pronuncian como ed, invented eh, como helped si se fija después va people o sea no tiene que hacer usted firemen helped people in danger si usted quiere hágalo pero en realidad no es tan necesario firemen helped people in danger so, pronúncielo pero no exagere that's what I'm saying, mother. Pronúncelo, pero no exagere, no se detenga. All right? Uh, let, me, let me ask uh, over here, um, just random over here. Miss Sulma or the, Miss Claudia, do you have any questions over here, right? Solo para ver si más o menos me di a entender. Yes, Miss Sulma? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you so much. Miss Claudia? Eh, yo llegué tarde. Okay. Right. That's okay. I understand. Most. Okay. So right now I will send you to the record room and what you're going to do very quickly, either take terms, uh, reading the sentences, or you just read the sentences one at a time. Uh, you figure it out, right? 
Entonces lo voy a mandar a los breaker rooms para que usted practique la pronunciación así, ¿verdad? En contexto. Ok, because that's what matters, you know, to, to say this in a sentence, all right? You know, to, to uh, share a message. De eso se trata, ¿verdad? decirlo en contexto. And that's what you're going to do, ok? So here we go. One second, please. Si no hay ninguna consulta, ¿verdad? Voy a abrir los grupos, all right? No questions, my friends. No question. All right, no question. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Uh, just hold on. Let's have it here. Let me just see if everybody is in here. Okay. All right, so rooms are open. Go ahead. Me voy a dejar fuera, teacher. Aquí estaba viendo ya que se me había quedado usted, Mr. Gilberto y, y Catherine. Sí. Pero ellos sí no están, yo sí estoy. <risa> <risa> ah, ahorita, sí. ahorita lo vamos a mandar, no se preocupe. Severísimo. Yes, yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Yes. Le decimos desde el principio. Sí, desde el principio para que haga completa la, la tarea. Pero estaba todo oscuro y ellos dijo que se haga la luz y la luz. Se... <risa> eh, eso es lo bueno. No voy a, no voy a saltar todo esto. El, un, un yo rayo. Acá. De aquí un que rayo, lleguemos al apocalipsis. Un rayo le va a caer. <risa> es que, que llegan los cuatro evangelios. <risa> Mire, Raúl, y cuando comience a mencionar, ¿verdad? Todos los, los descendientes de Abraham y del pueblo. Ay, sí, son varios. Aquí son se varios. Nos va a ir a la tienda. <risa> y pobre Claudia no va a hacer nada. <risa> y yo voy a estar esperando. ¿eh? <risa> All right. Vaya, este, el asunto está así, Claudia. Hay que completar el cuadro. El, el teacher nos pasó. Un... Yo tampoco estaba. Ah, ok. El... Dice Raúl. Mande. Perdón, si me ayuda ahí borrando el, el enlace ahí. Yo sé que no, no, no nos ha pasado nada, ya tenemos casi tres meses de experiencia, pero pensar, pensar ahí la suerte. Thank you. Go ahead, pues. Continúe, por favor. Eh, nos pasó este link. Y está este como una pequeña prueba. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí estaba, usted escuchaba el audio y usted tenía que decir cuál de estas tres opciones eran según, no, según se escuchaba, cómo pronunciaban estos verbos en pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces, obviamente, yo metí la pata en una. Aquí está, cuácate. Uh -huh. Porque uh -huh. yo sé. De aquí y se las voy a... Oh, hello, hello. ¿Cómo a... quedaron? No, no, si gusta, se los puede reproducir aquí para que escuche cómo se la pronuncian ellos. Ajá. ¿Pueden escuchar bien? Un poquito sí, abajo. Bien bajito. Bajo. Bien bajo, mi señor Ewen. Ya no le puedo subir, la tengo todo. Mm, ok. Y, perdón, y, y cuando comparte, le sale la opción de compartir el audio, porque creo que si estamos escuchando de su, de, de, ajá, ajá ese es el problema quizás. Si me ayuda, Mr. Mr. Edwin, si se está compartiendo, sí, no. borra el enlace, por favor. My parents asked me many questions about the exam. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. There you go. Yes. Ahí sí se escucha. Yes. Okay. 
se lo vuelvo a poner. My parents asked me many questions about the exam. All right, so my parents asked me many questions about the exam. Right, who, who goes first? ¿Quién va primero? <laughs> the teachers explained the homework. The teachers explained the homework. Explained. Explained. Uh -huh. Explain the homework. Bueno, como ahí ya los tienes, eh, ya los has escogido, ¿verdad? Sí, lo siento. Pero, pero ahí, eh, ahí vaya, solamente, un, perdón, eh, una aclaración. Obviamente, lo que tienen ED es el verbo correcto, ¿verdad? Este, lo que usted tiene que eh, interiorizar es cómo se pronuncia, porque en la escritura todos Exacto. son iguales, si se fija, todos son iguales. Ajá. Eso quería preguntarle, teacher. Por ejemplo, Ajá. todavía tengo la duda con cold. No sé de. si va con D, D. D, D. Cold. Sí, cold. Y de hecho, los que van con D, en el peor de los casos, o mejor, eh, o, o, lo mejor de los casos, el mejor de los casos, no tiene que pronunciar el pasado. Lo dicen como que estuviera cold. viendo play, así, o cold en, en presente. Porque oh. la palabra siguiente, ¿verdad? Le disfraza o absorbe el sonido. Oh, Le absorbe el sonido. Oh, okay. mi... Sí, porque ahí se escucha como que baja la parte donde... Por ejemplo, en ask, la D le baja y Ajá. dice ask me any question about exactly. the exam. Exacto. Usted en su mente tiene que acostumbrarse a más o menos decirlo, ¿verdad? El problema es cuando usted encuentre una vocal. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, uh, le pregunté, perdón, le hice una pregunta. Le voy a preguntar, le voy a hacer yo, I asked you a question. Ahí sí tengo que pronunciar. ¿Ok? Porque va, ask. I asked you, I asked you, ahí sí va. Porque es una vocal la que va después del asked, ¿verdad? Después de eso. Entonces, sí, por obligación lo tengo que hacer. Pero en este caso que yo lo estoy haciendo, por ejemplo, mi suma, estoy preguntando. My parents ask me many questions. Ni se, ni se escucha que pronuncia el pasado. Sí. Entonces, la buena noticia es que usted puede camuflajear esto. Pues solamente tiene que tener cuidado en cuestiones así, ¿verdad? En, 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 si va una vocal después y... Los que terminan en it, como invented, tiene que decirlo. Started, tiene que decirlo. Y luego los demás que son listen y eso, ni tiene que pronunciarlo si no quiere, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando están... Sí, a mí me, me había confundido la, la, la 8 porque dice listen. Pero al final se escucha medio la D. Ajá, so the children listen to the story, right? Lo que pasa es que como la T va después de la D y los sonidos son bien cercanos y bien parecidos, en realidad ni tiene que pronunciarlo. The children listen to the story. Hacer como una media pausa, una pequeña pausa. ¿Ok? Esa es la clave. Esa es la clave. ¿Ok? Estás okay. de aquí. Estás de aquí. Seguimos. ¿Qué sería algún parecido? verbo terminado con R? ¿Con cuál, perdón? ¿En qué clasificación se... Con R? ¿Hay R. alguno que termine con R? Acuérdense que los no. verbos regulares todos terminan en ED. No, no, me pregunto con R. Uh, invite, uh, no, no, no hay, o sea, no, bueno, yo que yo sepa, no hay. No, no hay. Por ejemplo, está start. Es que me pareció. Ajá. Started. Uh, Como no, started. Es que me... start. Sí, sí, por ser start. Lo que pasa es que. Yo no, vaya. No, 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 lo que pasa es que en realidad eh, la, la, la T es, usted la va a poner, este verbo usted lo puede pronunciar como start. Ok. Y. La T en medio de, de una, digamos, en medio de, de la letra, en medio de una palabra, se hace R. Pero eso ya cuando usted lo pronuncia, digamos, en pasado, digamos, en presentes, uh, my friends start, ok, classes a day. Mis, mis compañeros comienzan clase a las 8. Si yo le digo comenzar, o ya le voy a decir my, my friends started or started. Pero el punto es que siempre va a decir la ED, porque en presente usted dijo start, ok. My friends start, uh -huh. right? Y luego la T, usted la hace como, como R, como better, started, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero eso ya uh -huh. es otra, otra cuestión, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no, ahí es started, eh, okay. invented, eh, etc. Uh -huh. All right? But that, that's a good question. I see your point, Oliver. Okay, teacher, gracias. You're welcome. Okay. Por la dos vamos, ¿verdad? The teachers mm -hmm. My brother play basketball very well. Me, me trabé toda. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Teacher, hola. Hello. Look at the screen. Hey. 
eh, teacher, y cuando ya los hayamos, o sea, presionado, le damos terminado, ¿verdad? Yo ya le di. Yeah, but what, what matters over here, solo lo voy a poner aquí un, un ratito para, para evitar. Ahí está, thank you. What matters over here, my friends, is the pronunciation because the spelling doesn't really matter. Si usted quisiera copiar, ah, todos son en ED. Ahí está, me saqué 10, right? <laughs> but what we're practicing is the pronunciation, right? So you have to say, the teachers explain the homework. Number four, firemen uh, help people in danger. Uh, me lo estoy saltando, ¿verdad? Number seven, my friends studied a new hobby. Ok, eso es lo que usted tiene que ir practicando, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que yo les decía, si la palabra que sigue es una consonante del sonido, usted puede disfrazar, digamos, el sonido de T, como tomato, y el D, como David, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no va a decir, Farming helped people in danger. Si sí lo puede hacer y si lo quiere hacer, hágalo, ¿verdad? Pero no es necesario, solo que usted quiere enfatizar, Farming helped. People in danger, pero tiene que hacer una pausa porque usted está empatizando, porque quiere decir que los, los bomberos sí ayudaron a la gente en peligro. No sé si me explico. Pero digamos que solo es una simple, no sé, algo que usted quiera decir, no tiene, tiene que decirlo de corrido. That's the point over there. Real? Straight up. All right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you continue, please. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put here two more minutes. All right? Okay. Okay. Hey, hey. My friends started a new hobby. A new hobby. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, I guess you finished already. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, we did. Y para enviárselo pide un código de o un correo suyo. ¿Qué hacemos? No se lo vamos a enviar esto. No, just get a screenshot. That's that's the only thing you, you can do. Just get a screenshot. Captura de pantalla. Ah, está bien. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ahorita. That's okay. How how much did you get, by the way, uh, Miss Gonzalez? <laughs> Or Mr. Francisco, how much did you get? ¿Cuánto, cuánto se sacó? 9 de 10. 9 de 10. That's great, sir. 9 out of 10. Correct. And you, uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Susana? 7 out of 10. That's okay. Un poquito raspadita, pero pasó. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> es mentira, mentira. <laughs> All right. <laughs> es mala gente, oh. <laughs> all right all right so welcome back everyone i guess that some of you were you know you already uh, took a cup of coffee so tomaron un cafecito you went to the bathroom you know just were waiting to you know waiting for us can i have let's see three volunteers in this case i'm not gonna pick the victims you know it's going to be volunteers now all right Que sea de forma voluntaria. All right. So, and if you help me, Mr. Alfonso, you're the first one. Two more. All right. Mr. Alfonso, Mr. Tony, actually, he's the first one. All right. He's a perfect teacher. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Sonia, number two. So, we got two. The next one, please. Volunteers, not victims. All right. All right. One more person, please. All right. A la una. Estamos subastando. That's an auction, right? Number two. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and nobody right wants to uh, claim the prize. Nadie quiere verdad cobrar el premio. Mr. Tony, go ahead, please, sir. Okay, uh, number one. Yes. My parent asked asked me question many question me many question about the exam. Okay. Number two, the teacher explained the work homework. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Continue. A lot of people called for my birthday. Okay, Miss Sonia. Four firemen help people in danger. Thank you, Tony. Lucy and Peter invited a new game. Yes. My brother played basketball very well. My friend started a new new hobby. Mm -hmm. And Miss Sonia. The children. Microphone. 
the children listened to the story. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, I was able to notice that you pronounce most of the verbs correctly. And the ones that you pronounce perfectly are invented, um, studied, and the most of the ask and the D over there. But be careful. Uh, we, we don't say listen it. No, no, no. Mejor lo decimos en español. Perdón, no en español, right? We say it in, in, in present instead of saying listen it. No, we say the children listen to the story. De hecho, fíjense cuando un verbo en pasado va seguido de esta expresión, ¿verdad? O esta preposición to, no tiene que usted preocuparse de si pronunciarlo con de, con te, con lo que sea ahí. No, ¿verdad? Porque el to le va a dar la pronunciación. Al menos que usted haga una pausa y diga, the children listened to the story. Aunque en realidad, nunca he escuchado eso. Yo que dicen, the children listened, no, you say, the children listened to the story. All right. My brothers played basketball very well. Las, la palabra la B, el sonido de la B, absorbe la D, ¿verdad? My brothers played basketball. Usted pronuncia, ¿verdad? Mínimamente, right? Just a little bit. So, four, firemen help people in danger. Three, a lot of people called me for my birthday. Haga una pequeña pausa, ¿verdad? En la pronunciación y luego continúo. The teachers explained the homework, all right? My parents asked me many questions about the exam. Okay? Yes. But you need to teach your brain to pronounce the ED, right? Tiene que usted, ¿verdad? Enseñarle, ¿verdad? Su cerebro. Que, que pronuncie eso. Okay. Nice. So let's continue with the rest of the class because there is more to learn uh, in this evening. And this is what I got prepared for you. Okay? So in here... It's going to be, let's say, like a mental a, a skill, Hola. right? Exercise over there, All right? Vamos a hacer um, un ejercicio de debilidad, verdad? Sí, uh, rápido. I know that it's late already and it's a Monday. It's 9.07, but we're going to try to do this just to review the vocabulary. This is like a game. Vamos a hacer como esto de habilidad mental, you know? Mental ab ability, right? I will send to you right now uh, the access to this information and then uh, i will explain what to do next okay so just one second voy a compartir el acceso al siguiente ejercicio this is just to practice the uh let's see the verbs in present and in past tense so you see the difference over there solamente con el fin de que usted practique el pasado y el presente de los verbos and of course the pronunciation all right so one second, please. One moment. Aquí vamos. There you go. Sent it to you. All right. I'm going to open it up and share it with you. El favor que les pido es que si usted recibe un enlace o algo, eh, borrar el, el enlace, ¿verdad? El link en sí, ¿verdad? Que, no, que nos delate de dónde estamos sacando la información por cualquier cosa. All right. So we should do that. I'm asking you. All right, as a favor, okay? Si no, van a cerrar el canal, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no, ya no me van a ver por aquí. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you. Pasémonos al site, teacher. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the screen with you right now. So this is what I shared with you, past times. You see a beautiful moonlight. Bella la luz de la luna por ahí. So... What do you want to do? You want to store or review? If you want to review, this is, this is like the past tense, but we're going to start with uh, this one, okay? So what you have to do is to match the verbs with the uh, past. Y aquí va esta barrita, right? So you're running out of time, okay? So you're running out of time, you know? So you can feel alive over there. So and you do is give, goes, gave, all right? Over here. Drink. Eso solamente lo estoy haciendo así como, ok, el primero que agarro. ¿verdad? Exercise, exercised. Y tratemos de decirlo, por favor. Eh, sing, sang. All right? Charge, charged. And there you go. And now, what is she doing, right? Or what was the action yesterday? Is it wake, levantarse, drink, beber, or press? Present, right? After drink. Running, she... Ahora el pasado. So after running, she drank. Drank water. Ok, she drank water. 
Creo que no les estoy compartiendo el sonido. Vamos a ver si les comparto el sonido. Porque esta pues, cosita, este juguete. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I was sharing with you the sound. Okay. And then this one is sing, press, or give. Okay. Yesterday he. Give. Yesterday he gave, grieved, or give it. No, 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 no. It's gave, right? Gave her a her, gift. Gave her a, a gift. And you continue. Esto es como un videojuego, a ver hasta dónde llega. Como dicen los deportes, a ver dónde toca. <laughs> right with this game, right? So let's see the level that you, that you get to. Copy that. Yes. Good. And this is just individually, and you only have to share with me your score. No lo voy a mandar a los breaker rooms porque esto es individual. No se puede hacer formato grupal. All right? Thank you. And then we're going to move to the next activity. It's nine of 10, a nine, 10 already. Let's see like two or three minutes and dos or three minutes. Okay, we should do this. Before six, she Woke up. Yesterday I charged my phone. Earlier today, he All right, so share the other score with me, please, in the chat once you finish. Si gustan, compartan el, el score, ¿verdad? Cuando termine. Okay, thank you. Teacher, I have a problem. What happened, sir? <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, game over, right? But don't worry about it. Others? Yeah, don't worry about it. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. You see that there are many people all over the world that uh, played this game already. We have people from Argentina. No, you're right. <laughs> all right. Uzbekistan, uh, Ukraine, Malaysia, Turkey, Colombia. So this is a very famous game. Okay. As you can see. Guarden los juguetitos, ¿verdad? Les pueden servir. All right. Está tirando, teacher. Está tirando. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Nice. Representing El Salvador. Let's see who's going to represent El Salvador and go to the championship, ir al campeonato. 
You know? <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Um, cuando dio la explicación de este juego, yo recibí una llamada que no pude dejar de contestar. ¿Me puede decir de nuevo para, para poderlo hacer? Sure, sure, no problem. All right, let me okay. just, sure, let me just uh, go back over here. Vaya, aquí tienen el enlace que le compartí ya de una sola vez en el chat. Entonces usted uh -huh. básicamente solo comienza, le da start y... La primera parte solo es emparejar. Usted busca a la pareja. Aquí la pone, lo arrastra y se lo va a marcar y se ah, desaparece. Okay. And you just continue, okay. right? The next exercise is sentences, ¿verdad? El segundo ya son más oraciones construidas, all right? Vale, pero en este momento hago solo el primero o de una vez termino no, este just, y sigo no, el... Uh... O sea, es como un videojuego, o sea, la va a ir subiendo de nivel. Ah, uh, uh -huh. ya, va, ahorita, gracias. Ok. Repeat, teacher. Puedo repetirlo. Yeah, you can repeat it. Yeah, this is just practice over there. Um, all right, but. Por eso les decía, verdad, que guarden el juguetito, que está bien interesante esto. All right. And, and the good thing is that it's for free, verdad? Es gratis. Está tirando, teacher. Está tirando. <laughs> okay, so let me share with you the next activity that we're gonna do right now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so literally, um, cambiando de página, so going to the next page, let me share with you the following, all right? Hold on. Yeah, I don't see your name, so whatever, but that's okay. Yeah, hey, we have here Frida, Hector, and a lot of people in there, right? Okay. So this is the next thing I want you to work on, please. All right? So in this case, it's going to be uh, identifying affirmative and negative sentences in the past simple. In the siguiente ejercicio, lo que va a hacer es identificar si la oración está escrita correctamente en positivo o negativo en pasado. Remember that in simple past and you change the verb if it's irregular. Si es un verbo irregular, ¿verdad? Tiene una escritura distinta, right? It's a different structure or a writing part. For example, go becomes went. Entonces usted no va a decir I went shopping yesterday or last Monday. Usted va a decir I went shopping on Monday. I didn't go shopping on Tuesday, all right? In negative statements, the uh, verb does no change, all right? In negative, el verbo no cambia. Se mantiene su forma básica. So that's the key, right? Esa es la clave. In affirmative sentence, we use the second form of the verb. Worked, went, so, all right? In a negative sentence, after didn't, we use the first form of the verb. Work, go, see. No nos vamos a confundir que dice la primera forma del verbo o la segunda forma del verbo. Lo que me estoy refiriendo es, si el verbo es irregular, ahí estamos un poquito en problemas, porque usted tiene que saberse el verbo o buscarlo, ¿verdad? En internet. Ok, un, una lista. Si el verbo es regular, si usted ya se lo sabe, solo le va a agregar ED. But here you have the options, all right? There are only two options in here. You see? Si usted sabe el verbo ya en presente, ya va a elegir el que le aparece ahí, que usted dice, ok, ese tiene que ser el pasado, ¿verdad? So let's do it like trial and error over there. Let me just ask somebody over here. It just started raining at home. It just started raining at home. Eh, Mr. Cesar, what are we supposed to do over here, sir? If you can help us, let's see, paraphrasing what I just said. Si nos ayuda quizás a, a dar una pequeña 
un pequeño refuerzo de la explicación. ¿Qué debemos hacer, sir? Vaya, tenemos que eh, ir determinando la forma correcta de, de como la escritura, ¿no? Yes. De ir este, uh, como, el, eh, como escogiendo la, 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 ajá, como la, la palabra adecuada. Uh -huh. Yeah, basically. En cada una de los, de los ítems. Correct. Yes, you got it, sir. And then click on finish and send the score with me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, let's say, like five minutes to do this individually. Let me uh, create the breaker rooms again and send you back in there. Aunque los, los manden los breaker rooms, trabajemos individual hasta que usted haya terminado y le haya dado finish over here. Okay? Once you finished, start sharing the answers over there. ¿Verdad? Cuando termine de una sola vez, diga el verbo, ¿verdad? No, me, no, no vamos a decir, eh, okay, come. No, de una sola vez vamos a ver. Annabelle come to the party. Jack didn't come with us. ¿Verdad? O oh, si es came, Annabelle came to the party. Jack didn't uh, come with us. Vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? La pronunciación de una sola vez. So that's what you're going to do. Just practice in there. So you got four minutes to do this. 9.25, you start practicing. A las 9.25 comenzamos a practicar. All right? So let's try to do it individually. Thank you. I'm opening the breaker rooms right now. Estoy abriendo los, los grupos compartidos en este momento. One second. All right, so I'm studying the rooms right now. Go ahead and join them. Thank you. Three more minutes and then you start sharing this, all right? Ya le compartió, teacher. Uh, yeah, I mean, I sent it over there. Uh, sí, lo que pasa es que como mandaron las, las capturas de pantalla, entonces quedó atrás. Para oh. with you. Yes, correct. Sorry about it. Right. Mil disculpas. Yes. O es siempre en el de Games to, the games to Learn S. Eh, pues, hold on. No, es, es, es tiene que ser este. este. That one. Oh, estoy buscándolo. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Eh, se lo había mandado otra vez, pero, pero no me había cargado. Perdón, permítanme. Ahí está ya. Could you see now? Could you see now? Yeah. Okay, sorry about it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Miss Catherine, uh, Mr. Gilberto, join the, the uh, room, please. Thank you. Okay, so one more minute and then we start sharing this. All right. De un minuto comenzamos a compartir. Vamos a decir las oraciones así de corrido, right? So you have to read them, please. Thank you. All right, so everyone, if you're ready, you can start sharing the answers in there, okay? 
Okay, teacher. But if you're still working, yes. Um, not light I mean, up. No bien. problem. Aquí the boot does light up. Está bien, también solo poner up. Gentlemen. Chair. Sure. En acción estamos ahorita the, con Maestro Raúl. The Dynamite Team, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> Dynamite. Batman y Robin, ¿o no? <laughs> Batman y Robin, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. <laughs> Pequeño Saltamonte, ¿verdad? Right? Sensei. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yo creo que voy a llegar a... 10 de 100. 10 de 100. Y polivoces tú, ¿verdad? Los polivoces también. Y así. Ruth y Capulina. Y ahí va. Ah, tenemos mucha semejanza de todos los personajes. ¿va? Don Quijote y Sancho Panza. Don Quijote y Sancho Panza, muy bueno. Pues. Artud y tú y Citripio. Citripio, sí. That's a good one. Let's see over here. Ahorita ando sondeando ahí, ¿verdad? A ver, tirando la piedra y así escondiendo la mano. Ya regreso al V-Back. Right. <ríe> Como dijo Ajá. el gobernador. Ah, al V-Back. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <ríe> gobernador. Right? Yeah. Race. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess you finished already. Am I correct? Creo que ya terminé. Yeah. Okay. Can you start sharing uh, your answers? Just to practice? Um, Please. Like, okay. Anna uh, came to the party. Jack didn't come with us. This one is... God. We got up early on weekdays. We didn't get up late. ¿Verdad? Aquí la, la, la clave es que en una dice el verbo en pasado y el otro lo dice en, en su forma básica, pero en negativo en pasado. Y esa es la agilidad que tenemos que nosotros adquirir, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ok, so we, we got to change, all right? Okay. ok, nice. Eh, son contaditos los perros. Ajá, este quedó lo que yo no había logrado como identificar. Gentlemen. Mister. Yeah, okay, well, Yeah, what were you saying, Mr. Eduardo, that uh, you would like to share with us? No, that at the beginning, the most difficult thing is to remember the the verbs and Correct. all the, yeah, that's the most difficult. Correct, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, memory, memory, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. Correct. And then once you know the verbs, it's just practice, does it? It's just practice. So, for example, in this exercise, my, uh, let's see, my objective is to get you practice the affirmative and the negative statement. So it's the same verb in negative, but in past tense, you use, you know, the past form, like Annabelle came to the party. Jack didn't come with us. All right. So you gotta, you gotta be quick. All right. So that's the idea over here. Did you, did you read the, uh, the statements already, uh, Mr. Eduardo and Nelson? Did you read the statements already or not? No, 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 I was uh, helping Nelson with that. You were helping. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, the next part would be that one. Just try to speak this because what matters is what you guys say. All right? Thank you. All right, please. All right, so I'll be back. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, Nelson, ¿en cuál te quedaste? La cuatro. Pues ya terminé. Ah, oh, perdóname. <laughs> Disculpe. Ah, perdóname. Disculpe, sí, ya. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Siete. Hello. Y también la segunda me salió mala porque we had. Pero es que no la cambiamos, era lógico. Hello, teacher. Yep. Este, la dos la tenemos mala porque ni siquiera cambiamos, le dejamos jet y jet en ambas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, bye. Ahí sería get, 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 or got. Ah, get, or got. get, sí. get, or got. Eh, eh, get, get no. Exacto, con O es pasado. 
con E es 100%. Uh -huh. Correct. Ah, so, sí, me equivoqué y, también. Sí, porque esa fue la que me salió mala. Ya, yeah. y ya cuando usted lo dice de corrido, la T la va a ser una R para unirla con la U. Bien raro, ¿verdad? pero así es. We got up, got up. Ah, got up, got up, got up, got up. We got up early on weekdays. We didn't. Sí, ocho de diez me saqué. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Nueve de diez. That's good. Voy a volver a hacer para que me salga 10 de 10, teacher. Por amor, no lo mandas al grupo. Sí, lo mando, mando lo individual. Sí. Ah. Mando lo individual. Yo creo que ya esta etapa de la vida, yo creo que ya me agregó al chat, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lo tengo agregado, teacher. Si no me sale como el pan. ¿Cuál mire, es su número? No, mire, espere, espere. Y yo sí, mire, gran, gran amenaza, gran amenaza con, con Saraí. Si, si no me ha agregado, la, la próxima vez solo vamos la a. La bloqueo del grupo. No, solo va a estar Claudia y César en el grupo. La próxima, Ay, no. la próxima vez, cuando, le, cuando le dice que no va a llegar temprano a la clase, ¿te han visto? ¿Te va a dejar? No, no, yo no, no, dejo, a nadie, no dejo a nadie en visto. No, dejo a nadie en visto. no como no, siempre responde. Sí, sí. Sí, ah, sí le respondo. Él si no nos tiene agregados porque somos muchos alumnos. Demasiadas personas. Lo, lo que pasa es que tengo, tengo como igual que ustedes, ¿verdad? tengo los estudiantes ¿Vean? en el colegio, Ajá. tengo otros grupos, entonces, pero ya me puedo sus fotos o lo que tienen ahí. No, vale, sí. That's ok, that's ok. All right. Si veo una okay. sombra, soy yo. So let's, let's, try, let's try to practice, así como de corrido, tratémoslo de, por favor. Ok. Right. You're Here we go. Pero... My Anabel, eh, en las pronunciaciones, no sé si voy a estar bien, pero Anabel, come to tea party. Jack, didn't come with yes. you. Ok, yes. vaya. Aquí vamos a matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro, ¿verdad? Entonces el pasado es came, came, came. 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 Y el presente es come, ¿verdad? Come. Came. Come. Came. Come. Came. Ain, el lomo, ain, came. Ok, Annabel came to the party, Jack didn't come mm. with us. Came and come, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Y el pasado de aquí, el presente es get, y el pasado yeah. es got, get, yeah. got. Entonces, y ha unido, va a decir, he, we got up early yeah. on weekdays, yeah. we didn't get up early. Entonces, aquí la habilidad mental es cambiar de pasado a presente y en negativo. Eso es lo difícil mm -hmm. ahorita, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo que sí. es el objetivo de este ejercicio. There you go, you may continue. Esa fue, esa fue la que me salió mal a mí. All right. Esa me salió mal a mí también. Yeah. Sí, también a mí. Yeah. Okay. Bye. So I'll be back over here. Ya regreso. Okay. okay. We have we have Miss Sul, Miss Ulma over here. So, uh, would you help her? I can, I can. Vamos a apoyar. Vamos a ver. Okay. Gracias, Ticha, que me sacó el sistema y no sé, me volví a meter otra vez. Sí, sí, sí. De repente pasa. Vamos a darles acá five more minutes solamente para un margen de error. No, let's see, no, former. Yeah. Continue, please. No sé si okay. co comparte pantalla, Mr. Eh, César. Sí, sí, ahorita. All right, thank you. Terminó. Sí, ya lo mandé, 10 de 10. Nice. Uh, nice. Excuse me, excuse me. Modestia aparte. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, uno de, uno de como de tres, va. <laughs> Terrible, niño. Nice. Y nice. uno aquí, apenas. Yeah, let's try, ah, let's, sí. let's try to practice. Let's see, like, the uh, items. Pero vamos a practicar los, los enunciados. Entonces, Annabelle came to the party. Jack, Jack didn't come with us. We get up early on weekdays. We didn't get up late. Number three, uh, we swam in the sea on weekdays. We didn't swim in the sea on Wednesday. Entonces la habilidad es cambiar de pasado a presente porque en el didn't, en negativo, el verbo es, es en su forma básica. Es que básica. el verbo no cambia, ¿verdad? Exacto, exactamente. Y, y si usted ya descubrió el patrón, ¿verdad? La primera parte es el pasado positivo y lo otro es en negativo. That's the pattern, That's mother, right? That's mm -hmm. the pattern. Yes. Yeah, okay. Nice. So you, may, you, you may start practicing, please. Okay. Then most of the minutes. Uno yes, please. Comienzo, si quieren. Hello.
All right. Yeah, I cannot hear you, Miss Carmen. I, I guess your mic is uh, I off. Guess. Yeah, there Sorry. you go. Yeah, I that, have some problems with my click. With your click, all right. So uh, I guess you shared uh, the answers already. Did you practice already or not? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay. All right, so would you help me, Miss Carmen, with the uh, last, I mean, with number seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11, please? Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, with number, uh, yeah. sorry? Yeah, from seven to 11. Okay. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. My friend gave me a book. He didn't give me a pen. Mm -hmm. They took many pictures, but they didn't take a picture in the park. Mm -hmm. I saw a t I saw a tiger in a zoo, in a zoo, but I didn't see a lion. Yes. I bought some juice in a supermarket, but I didn't buy any milk. Correct. That's perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. You. Now, uh, Mr. Tony, would you help us with uh, one, two, three, and four, sir? Sorry, teacher. Uh, repeat, please. Yeah, help us with one, two, three, and four. The the examples in there, please. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Yeah. Annabelle, be careful. Annabelle, con la muñeca. <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> the doll, right? <laughs> Annabelle, come to the party. Dark dream, come. Why? With Why? us, right? So is it came, uh, so Annabelle came to the party or come to the party? Just to make sure. Came. Yeah, came, okay. Came to no, the party, that dreamed, come. All right, number two. We got, we got, got up. Got up early, week, week day, week, mm -hmm. week day. We didn't week. get up late. Late, all right. Three. Number three, we sang. In the sí. in the street on the weekday we didn't didn't como que le agrega una una r después del did didn't we, como como we didn't. didn't como di, we, didn't como didn't yeah. we, we didn't, didn't get up late okay and um, next one before yes okay uh, we ride old bikes in the park. We didn't ride our bikes on the strip. On the strip. All right. Yeah, that's great. So one advice that I can give you, one, one piece of advice, quizás un pequeño tip es, digamos, didn't. We didn't swim in the sea on weekdays, but así como con ritmo. We didn't ride our bikes on the street. Uh, he didn't go to Italy last year. And I guess they already uh, discovered the pattern over here. On your left, en su mano izquierda, you know, you have the affirmative statements in past tense. And on your right, you have the negative statements in past tense. Ese es el patrón, ¿verdad? Entonces, el mismo verbo aquí está en pasado como número tres. Number three, you have, we swam in the sea on weekdays. And then the negative, we didn't swim in the sea on week, weekends. Right? All right. So that's, that's a practice over there. Right, Catherine? Hi. Hello. So what would be number six? Vamos a, what would be number six? Okay. Si nos ayuda con, with no, number six. La voy a hacer más grande que no la veo. That's okay. She, she's at only. Yeah, she ate only. She ate only the um, vegetables. The vegetables. Vegetable. She mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. she, she didn't. She the didn't eat, eat the meat. Correct. Yeah. She didn't eat the meat. The she she ate only the vegetables. All right. Nice. We're gonna go back to the main station over here right now. Okay.
All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, very quickly, uh, let me just give you the answers on this one. So now just try to repeat after me with your microphone off, okay? So the first one is came, got, swam, rode, went, ate, had, ¿verdad? Con, con de. Gave, took, so, and bought. Okay, one more time. So just try to repeat after me, please, with your microphone off. Tratar de repetir, por favor. Bought, bought, como que fue a robot, bought, so, so, como una O y una U chiquita, so, took, took, gave, gave, no es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Y es gave, ¿verdad? Con V. <laughs> All right, that's something else. Yeah, no, no coincidence over here. So, had, had, como una A y una E, had, ate, te comió o algo, es como el número ocho se pronuncia. Remember that, please. Like number, the, como el número ocho. Eight, eight. Went, rode, rode, swam, got, and came. These are very common verbs over there. All right? So, when you pronounce the negative, you say didn't, ¿verdad? Como que van a, a didn't, ¿verdad? Didn't, didn't, ¿verdad? Después del did, usted lo va a poner como el not didn't, didn't. Try to say, please, didn't, didn't. Ese es el negativo, right? Didn't, all right? Didn't, didn't. So, on number, let's see, number five, we say, enfoquemos en la número cinco. So, we went to Spain. He didn't go to Italy last year. And I guess up to this point, you already discovered that on your left, you have the uh, affirmative uh, past tense statement. And on your right, you have the negative sentence in past tense. So, a su izquierda tenía el pasado afirmativo y a su derecha tenía eh, el, la forma del pasado en negativo. All right. Cuando es en negativo, el verbo no cambia, right? So the verb never changes. Y si usted ya se percató, ¿verdad? Cuando usted ocupa auxiliares en negativo, en ninguno, ningún tiempo gramatical, le va a cambiar el verbo. Usted en, lo puede decir en presente, en futuro, en lo que sea, y el verbo mantiene su forma básica. Eso es una regla universal en el inglés. All right? That's a universal rule that I think you should learn. Okay. Igual que en preguntas, no le va a cambiar. And that's what we're going to cover right now, today and tomorrow. So, um, keep on practicing this. Por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo voy a modelar un poquito la pronunciación. O, al menos que... So, can I have, let's say, two volunteers that can help me practice from number one to five and from six to eleven. Alguien que ya haya participado o quisiera participar. Some, somebody that would like to practice or practice already. Yo, teacher. Oh, all right. Go ahead, please. Pero no veo. Ah, ahorita. I'm oh, sorry. There you go. Annabelle came to the party. Just didn't come with use. Okay. We got. We got out early on. With day, we didn't get. Play. Ok, solamente para, para que afianzar un poquito con todos los demás. Eh, levantarse, ¿verdad? Eh, obviamente en, en las mañanas que tanto cuesta, usted primero se despierta, que es wake up, y luego está el get up. Entonces, eh, get, get, up, up. get up es levantarse. Get up, unimos la, el sonido de la T, que en este caso ya no es una T como T, sino que lo hacemos una R. Get up. So, y aquí la recomendación cuando usted dice did, y luego el not contractado, agréguele después del did, didn't, didn't, una R, didn't, como que fuera el did y luego la R, la I, la N. We didn't get up. We didn't. We didn't. Okay. We didn't. Okay, we just didn't. like that. Okay. Okay. Get up, play. Continue, please. We saw in the sea on with day, we didn't, as we in the sea on weekends. Yes. We rode. Bite in the part we didn't write all over. Mm -hmm. Bite on the street. Yes. He went to Spain. 
He didn't go to the Italy last year. She eat only the vegetables. She didn't eat the meat. Correct. We had a great time. Yes. My friend gave me about he didn't give, give me a pen. Okay. Give me a book. They, they, took... they took many pictures, but they didn't take the picture in the park. In the park, in yes. The park. I saw. I saw a tiger in a saw, uh -huh. but I didn't see a lion. I bought some quiz in supermarket, bought in I didn't buy any meal. All right, thank you so much, Miss Miss Elizabeth. So let's see how much we got out of this one. All right, check my answers. And how much did I get? Oh, 10 out of 10 we got. All right. So let me pronounce this again. And then with this, we finish. Uh, let's see this exercise and we will continue with the next part of the grammar. Después de que yo les modele, thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. I appreciate it. Les voy a modelar la pronunciación un poquito rápido y continuamos con la gramática para hacer preguntas. What happens when we ask questions or other? Yes, no questions. So listen up, please. Y tratemos de hacer la práctica, por favor, con su micrófono apagado. Okay, and just repeat after me and try to follow the, the pace over there. So, eh, vamos a hacer como eh, a cambiar el chip un poquito. Voy a comenzar de adelante para atrás. Entonces, voy a comenzar con lo negativo y terminar con lo positivo. All right, so that's what we're, we're going to do right now. So, Jab didn't come with us, Annabelle came to the party. Number two, we didn't get up late, we got up early on weekdays. Three, we didn't swim in the sea on weekends. We swam in the sea on weekdays. Four, we didn't ride our bikes on the street. We rode our bikes in the park. Five, he didn't go to Italy last year. He went to Spain. Six, she didn't eat the meat. She ate only the vegetables. Seven, we had a great time. Hey, que fácil estaba esto. Hubieran sido así, verdad? Yeah. Right, we had a great time, ¿verdad? La pasamos bien, ¿verdad? Eso, apúntese esa frase, ¿verdad? We had a great time, All right? No se gana, pero se goza, ¿verdad? So, at least, my friend, no, 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 he didn't give me a pen, ¿verdad? No me dio un lapicero. My friend gave me a book, me dio un libro. Eh, but they didn't take the pictures in the park, ¿verdad? No tomaron las fotografías en el parque. They took many pictures. Ten. But I didn't see a lion. No mire un león. I saw a tiger in the zoo, right? Mire un, un tigre en el zoológico. The last one, but I didn't buy any milk. I bought some juice in a supermarket. Pero no compré leche, compré jugo, all right? O las heladas, como dicen por ahí, right? You know, the cold ones. <laughs> but it's only, <laughs> right, on la tiendita, right? So, but it's only Monday, right? So you have to wait. Solo es lunes apenas. <laughs> Vamos a invocar al, 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 ¿cómo se llama, Mr. Raúl? El genio, ¿cómo es? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> genio, right? Raco. <laughs> okay, any questions about pronunciation over here, my friends? Any, any questions or any doubts about the pronunciation over there? Recuerdes, el negativo vamos a decir didn't y el verbo no cambia, all right? Didn't. Because the by. Uh, but. But, 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 yes. Yeah, anything else? Okay. So in that case, let's continue. We're not so preocupy, no lo voy a poner a trabajar. All right. Yeah, te vengamos, verdad? All right. I think way too much. So, um, here we go. This is the one. All right. So listen, nap, my friends. So simple past statements, irregular verbs. Los verbos irregulares que les había estado mencionando. Esto no hay regla que les diga, okay, así va a cambiar, verdad, el, el pasado. 
This is just a matter of practice and memory, right? It's a combination of practice and memory, practica y memoria, all right? So I got here the most common ones and try to uh, repeat up for me, right? So I did my homework. I didn't do laundry, ¿verdad? Hice la tarea, ¿verdad? No lave ropa. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. Tratemos de decirlo así, ¿verdad? Te levantaste a mediodía, ¿verdad? You didn't get up at 10. No te levantaste a las 10. O no se levantó a las 10. He went to the museum. Museum. He didn't go to the library, ¿verdad? Fue al museo. No fue a la biblioteca. All right? Next one. Eh, we, met, we met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher, ¿verdad? Conocimos a nuestros compañeros, pero no conocimos a nuestro profesor o profesora. You came home late. You didn't come home early. Mm, aquí está en problemado, ¿verdad? So, llegó, llegaste a casa tarde, no llegaste temprano. Right? El sillón, right? So, they had a picnic, if he's lucky. They had a picnic, they didn't have a party, ¿verdad? Tuvieron un picnic, no tuvieron una fiesta. Okay? So, this is the uh, simple past irregular verbs in there. All right. So, let's go back in there. What I'm going to do for you right now, I'm going to send this image to you so you can save it and put it somewhere over there. Se la voy a mandar esta imagen al chat para que les, la, les quede más a mano. Over here. Y recomendación es save it right now, otherwise may be lost uh, in the messages over there. Okay, hold on. I'm just sending that to you right now. And I'm going to stop this. Okay. All right. So, as I, as I was telling you, when it comes to the pronunciation of this, what matters is that your memory. Aquí hay que aprenderse la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Aquí no hay vuelta de hoja. All right. There's no other option. Repitamos lo que está en negrito, ¿verdad? Did, didn't do, got up. Didn't get up, went, didn't go, met, didn't meet, came, didn't come, had, didn't have. What's difficult over here is that you get a switch from present to past, negative and past, ¿verdad? Es lo difícil, cambiar de la forma pasada a lo negativo, all right? Now, let's try to complete the chart, but we're going to do this as a class. Vamos a hacerlo como, como clase. So, buy, bought. What's the present of comer? Eat. Eight. Eat, correct. Eat, eight. The present eat. of, the lo, el presente de sentir? Feel. Feel, yeah. correct, correct. Feel, right? Feel, felt, right? Uh, the present of um, made? Make. Make, con K, right? The present of uh, leer? Read. Read. Y el pasado, everyone, the past is pronounced like the color red. Se pronuncia como el color rojo, el pasado de leer. Red. All right? Como el color rojo se pronuncia el pasado de leer. Red, you say, I read a book last vacation. I read. No está diciendo yo rojo. No, no, no. Está diciendo I read, ¿verdad? Yo leí. I read a book. Now, esto es algo esencial, ¿verdad? Del verbo. Red. Es como el eight, que se pronuncia como el ocho del, del pasado de comer. Now, Wrote, the present is? Right. Right, correct. So the present is? C. C, right? C. No como mal, C. sino que es como ver, ¿verdad? S-E-E, -E, right? The present of sat? Sit. Sit, like sit down, please. Yes. Sit. So present of took? Take. Take. Take, correct. Eh, voy a mandar en el chat de, de Zoom. ¿Verdad? Los verbos ahí en presente, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ponerle desde el segundo que es, que es uh, it, right, rapidito. Three is feel, ok, four is uh, make, five is read. Ok, please be careful because the present and the past tense of read are the same, ¿verdad? Lo que cambia es la pronunciación. Escribir se escribe en presente y en pasado lo mismo, alright? So be careful with that. Um, so I'm sending this to you right now as I'm speaking, my friends. Um, the class is almost over. I need to remind you of a couple of things, ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos a tranquilizarnos un poquito. Vamos a dar un, un par de avisos. All right? So, one second over there. 
Um, All right, so nine verbs in total. I see that. Okay. There you go. I send this to you through the uh, Zoom chat. Eso lo voy a mandar al chat de, de WhatsApp order. So I'm going to stop sharing this screen. All right. So officially speaking, everyone today is the last, uh, let's see, is the fifth day of the second week. In other words, we just finished right now the uh, second week of uh, the uh, module three. Hoy concluimos el, la segunda semana del tercer módulo. All right, we're just halfway. Estamos exactamente a la mitad. All right, we're just halfway because we started on a Tuesday and we're going to finish on a Tuesday, May the 11th. The last day of class is May the 11th. All right, Tuesday, May the 11th. Último día de clases es el 11. De, de, de mayo es un martes. Okay. So that being said, that at least until today, you should have homework number 10 completed. El caso es que por lo menos tendríamos que tener la tarea número 10 que corresponde a la unidad 2 completada. Okay. And what, what's coming up next after you complete this? All right. Is the midterm. Most of you already completed this, and I, I appreciate that, verdad? La gran mayoría de ustedes ya hicieron el midterm, which is over here. So I'm just gonna go very quickly. Part number two, I was working on this as well, and part number three of the midterm, right? The midterm has a combination of grammar and vocabulary, as you know. You see, this one is gonna give you a headache. Aquí hay que tener mucho cuidado, verdad? Right? When you conjugate this. If you have questions, you let me know, right? Aunque no les conteste uh, inmediatamente, pero sí les voy a contestar, okay? Eso por lo menos me, me, me propongo. Entonces, el mixture has four parts, as you can see. And uh, the, uh, that's not me, right? <laughs> All right, so let me just go back over here. So, deadlines, fechas límites para lo que, lo que nos hace falta. Eh, lo recomendable sería que esta semana para el viernes... Eh, si no ha hecho el mixture, por lo menos que lo haga y que ya tenga comenzada la tarea número 3. Homework num number 3, should, you should start homework 3 this week. All right? All right? At least by this coming Friday, uh, we should, you should have until homework 14, hasta la tarea 14 y el mixture para el viernes. O en, o en el peor de los casos, o mejor de los casos para ustedes, for this coming Saturday, you should have at least homework eh, 14, ¿verdad? O, o, o 15. Para el fin de semana tendría que estar ya, ¿verdad? La tarea 14. At least, right? At least. Ok. Hold on. Eh, no sé por qué aparecen estos videos acá. But, but you get the idea, brother. So that's, that's the purpose, brother. Now, remember that we also have a one-on-one -on -one session which starts in, the, in one minute, brother. So let me share with you who stays in the one-on-one -on -one this evening, all right? Vamos a ver quién me va a acompañar o, o si es posible en el one-on-one -on -one session de esta noche, all right? So here we go, one second. And uh, according to this is Mr. Francisco Rodriguez. Can you stay, sir? Yes, all right, thank you, sir. It'll be a pleasure. So everyone, it's 10 p.m. It's that time to say goodbye because we got to honor the schedule just to give you some FYI for yes, tomorrow. Sure. Hold on. Just to give you, just to give you, let's see, some FYI. Primero, hay alguna consulta de lo que hemos estudiado, alguna fecha o algo que les compartí, ¿verdad? Este es el momento, ¿verdad? We got one minute. No? Sure, tiene la lista de, de los, del resto de compañeros que están en la semana. Claro que sí. Aquí está, mira. Uh, like, for example, uh, Miss Catherine is tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Luis, you're on Wednesday. Yeah, thanks for asking, sir. Your case is on Wednesday. Mr. Nelson is on Thursday. Si gustan, yo les mando captura de pantalla para que ustedes ya se agenden y se programen. Would that be okay for you? Okay. All right. The ones that are missing order. So, I gotta say goodbye. Hope to see you tomorrow because we gotta do a review of the simple past 
yes, no questions, and a couple of conversations, and then we will start with the next ten. Faltan los juegos de la de la niñez, remember? You know, you know, childhood memories. We're missing that. All right. Okay. Hope to see you tomorrow, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Nice. Eh, pues, no, simplemente decirle que está interesante lo de los verbos que estamos desarrollando ahorita. Ah, muy bueno y, y bien, bien importante la parte esta de los verbos. De hecho, uh -huh. sí. De hecho, sí. Eh, eh, fíjese que en inglés los tiempos gramaticales no son muchos. Lo que a uno se le dificulta es la pronunciación y el vocabulario. No sé si usted uh -huh. ya, ya reflexionó un poquito en eso, ¿verdad? Eh, pero eso, eso es lo que más cuesta en el inglés, el vocabulario y la pronunciación, porque gramática, imagínense, solo hemos visto el, el presente, un par de cositas por ahí de vocabulario, ahorita vamos en el pasado, el, el futuro más o menos lo, lo, lo vimos, ¿verdad? pero de ahí de gramática casi nada. Y si usted revisa, el cúmulo de conocimiento es vocabulario, es just vocabulary, all right? Sí. Vocabulary. Time expressions, words, occupations, verbs. Uh, and things like that, right? Entonces, de eso se trata. Entonces, si usted le dedica tiempo, aparte, es lo ideal. Si no puede, eh, sí va a aprender, pero se va a tardar un poquito más o va a ser un poquito más, de, no sé, tardado su aprendizaje, right? Your learning model. Exacto. Y en lo que corresponde a los verbos, sí recomienda realmente que hay que aprender mucho verbo. En, el en cuanto a las tres, las tres conjugaciones, ¿verdad? el pasado y el Exacto. participio. Pero sí, lo recomendable es que si usted se encuentra un verbo y se lo vuelve a encontrar otra vez, o es necesario que usted entienda algo, apréndaselo, pero no lo recomiendo que se memorice las listas. Uh -huh. okay. O por lo menos léala y diga, ok, esto qué es, ¿verdad? Y empieza así, ¿verdad? Pero no, 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 fuerce, no se esfuerce mucho en memorizarse. Lo ideal es aprendérselo en contexto, lo que es lo que nosotros hacemos, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. O sea, eso es lo ideal porque yo le doy la lista por consulta verdad, para que usted ya no ande buscándolas por acá ya, sino que usted las tenga llamado como su diccionario y así ya usted ya ok, ah, okay this is the verb, ah, esto es lo que significaba y ahí se va okay. sí, 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 a mí los verbos realmente es lo que me interesa y me gustan mucho los verbos uh -huh. bastante, exactly. bastante exactamente uh -huh. sí, porque me recuerdo que había bastante buen, buen rato que estuve en unas clases de inglés y que me recuerdo que nos dieron un folleto de, de más de 835 verbos <risa> Yo me recuerdo que con unos compañeros nos propusimos de aprenderlo y lo hicimos uh -huh. realmente. No sí, aprendimos sí, sí. todo el folleto, pero ya fue bastante. Pues ahorita ya, sí. ya no me recuerdo de mucho. Sí. Pero sí no, a, nos interesó mucho la experiencia de aprendernos el montón de verbos. Uh -huh. Son bastantes. No, y son un montón. Igual que en español, fíjese. Lo, lo, lo que pasa es que en inglés eh, usted solo aprende en las dos: eh, eh, el, la cuestión básica, infinitivo, pasado y participio. Eh, <risa> aunque en realidad. Eh, con el tiempo uno se aprende los verbos y uno siempre sigue aprendiendo. Yo todos los días, sinceramente, y sin exagerar, y no es solamente por una expresión que se dice, todos los días usted aprende algo, a mí en mi caso sí me toca, porque en el colegio, eh, bueno, yo estudié un poquito de sociales y de historia, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. yo en el colegio doy historia. Eh, de verdad. Sí, pro, vamos a, sí programación. Voy a, ahorita estoy mandando la programación de sesiones privadas. Ok, en las dos semanas. Sí, eso me toca a mí dar, hablar eso de, de, uh, de historia. Entonces ahí hay que leer mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. y ahí de repente hay una expresión o algo, son textos bien formales que escribieron gente, ¿verdad? Que participaron, eh, mandatarios o algún video o algo. Entonces es bien interesante. Eso, eso sí en español, teacher, o en inglés. En en inglés, en inglés. En inglés. Ah, sí, en inglés es. En inglés. Oh, ya, tengo ya, ya tengo ya cinco años ya trabajando de eso. Entonces, ah, no, ajá. Qué interesante. ¿Y ahí está lo general o, o no, se enfocan en, digamos, es, en nosotros, algo? nosotros elegimos el, 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 el currículum, digamos. O sea, nos dan a elegir en el colegio porque es un programa internacional. Entonces, por ejemplo, estudiamos en, en décimo grado 
eh, desde la Industrial Revolution, que es la revolución industrial, uh -huh. con la cuestión de la democracy, cuando se le dio el voto a las mujeres. Eh, estudiamos también cuando se independizaron los países uh, por allá, en Europa, aquí en, en, en el lado de, de América. También estudiamos las guerras, la uh, World War I, World War II, los, mm. Ital, Italy, Japón, eh, todo eso. Entonces, todo lo que se mira como en español se mira en inglés, ¿verdad? La Cold War, que es la Guerra Fría y todo eso. Entonces, uh -huh. un montón de cosas que hay que hacer. Sí. Entonces, ahí, ahí yo también estoy aprendiendo vocabulario, porque igual que ustedes. Sí, sí, bien, 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 bien importante todo eso, lo de la historia. Uh -huh. ¿no? Pero un montón de vocabulario. Yo hace poco estuve leyendo un libro, pero de la Primera Guerra Mundial, también uh -huh. de la, ajá, y de la, ¿cómo se llama? La de los negros. Ah, ok. La historia del racismo, todo eso, muy importante. Y en inglés, precisamente, están los libros. Los no, y de hecho, uno, uno así aprende de, de, de la mejor forma. Sí, muy bueno, lo felicito, Tich. Sí, sí, gracias. Este, toca, toca. All right, so let me give you the heads up for tomorrow. So what are we going to do tomorrow, Mr. Francisco? Bien, so let, let's take a look over here. Um, let's see, where is the page over here? I have a lot of details. There we go. So tomorrow I'm going to ask you, sir, could you write five things you did and five things you didn't do last week? Or maybe just write five uh, activities that you either did or didn't do, like in total. Right. So maybe you can say I didn't see a movie last weekend or I read a book. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Or I didn't watch TV or I uh, took an English class or I taught a class. Right. In su caso, que usted es instructor o profesor. So you can say I've taught a class. Right. Or, or I explain a topic to my students just like that. So that's what we're going to do. Right. Produce the language. Yeah. OK. And then. We will go with the uh, conversation. Did you like it? And then you have this, you know, so did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? And let's do something right now, just to take advantage of the time, Mr. Francisco. Let's practice this conversation, if you don't mind. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be Laura and Erica. So I'm going to start. Uh, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah. really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And one day we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, I did. But my sister didn't like the rafting very much. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see the expression over there. So now let's let's switch the role. So you're you're the first speaker, I'm the second one, All right? Laura, muy bien. Mm -hmm. So did you go anywhere last summer, Erica? Yes, I did. My sister and, and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and one day we went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, I did, but my sister didn't like the rafting very much. Great, sir. Oh, well, no, nice. Gracias, gracias. So one, recommend, one recommendation uh -huh. that I can give you is like, when you read, try not to depend too much on the text, all right? At least... Uh, you can say the last word or the last uh, two words without reading or looking at the text. Like, like, sin mirar el texto, digamos, como cuando usted está leyendo algo, o maestro de ceremonia, right? Master of ceremony. It's like, so did you go anywhere last summer, uh, Mr. Francisco? So I make eye contact. Hago como contacto visual. And then you say, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the mm -hmm, Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. In that way, you're going to teach or tell you, your brain, memorize it. Aprendaselo, cerebro, right? You're, that's what you're going to tell. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Muy bien. And then short expressions like, así como esta que tienen, como really, realmente, verdad, de verdad. Really? Did you like it? Así como, I kept, did you like it? Really? Where did you go? What did you do? Son expresiones dadas. Usted se las puede aprender. You can learn. Uh -huh. Yes. Muy bien, teacher. I highly suggest that. All right. Gracias, gracias por todo entonces. Yes, hold on. And then this is going to be the structure that we have over there, okay? 
but we're, we're going to cover this. This is like just grammar briefly. We're going to do this and then we're going to practice. Ahí tenemos ya, ¿verdad? El juguetillo para mañana. Bueno, vamos a pasar muy entretenido mañana. Yeah, we have new students, as you can see, right? But uh, they sí. help us a lot. They help us a lot. Nos Pero y esta, chica, y esta chica que estaba conectada último, cuando, en este momento que, que se quedó ella, no me recuerdo, Sandra. No Sandra, me Sandra. Eh, como que no existe, ¿verdad? Fíjese que en realidad ella se va a retirar del, del módulo. Lo que pasa como en, en esa for son bien estrictos. Si usted abandona, ya le quedó manchado su récord. Ah, Entonces, ya, ya. Es, es digamos que por usted, por fuerza mayor, no pudiera terminar el módulo, que Dios no quiera. Ajá. Tiene que rebuscarse por conectarse y que haga las, 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 las cuestiones de la plataforma y terminar esto. Ya después usted ya queda libre. Mm, comprendo. Ese, ya, ya. Eso es lo que ella ha, 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 ha hecho. Está pues. haciendo. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. Siempre que veo varios compañeros de que como que están en ese proceso, <risa> lamentablemente. ¿no? Sí, la verdad que sí. Sí, porque está interesante todo, todo, todo. Perfecto, excelente. Bueno, y muchas gracias por, por todo, Teach. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos. Entonces, so, see, you, uh -huh. see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, so. too. Oh. Bye.